Hello everyone, got five dirty jokes for you today. So a rich banker and his wife were having dinner at a very fine restaurant when this absolutely stunning young woman comes over to their table, gives the husband a big kiss, says she'll see him later and walks away. His wife glares at him and says, Who the heck was that? Oh, replies the husband sheepishly. She's just my mistress. Well, that's the last straw, says the wife. I've had enough. I want a divorce. I can understand that, replies her husband. But remember, if we get a divorce, it will mean no more shopping trips to Paris. No more wintering in Barbados. No more summers in Tuscany. No more expensive cars in the garage and no more yacht club. But the decision is yours. Just then, a mutual friend enters the restaurant with a gorgeous babe on his arm. Who's that woman with Jim? Asks the wife. That's his mistress, says her husband. His wife huffed. Ours is prettier. <laughs> so two blondes decided to go on a hunting trip to see what it's all about. After a few days camping, they finally bagged a deer and were dragging it by the rear legs back to the truck. But the antlers kept getting stuck in the mud. One says to the other, This is tough, but we only got about a mile left to reach the truck. Another hunter happened upon them then, saw their dilemma and told them, If you drag the deer the other way, the antlers won't stick in the mud. So the blondes give it try and it worked. The first blonde says that hunter was right. This way is a lot easier. The second blonde says sure was, but now we're two miles from the truck. <laughs> So a large sinkhole opens up on a remote town. An alarming number of people fall into it and injure themselves and it's difficult to get them all to the small hospital they have. The mayor gathers the city council to figure out a solution. The smartest city councillor suggests they park an ambulance next to the hole to get people to the hospital faster. The rest unanimously agree. However, they only have two ambulances and they're needed more in the center of the town to get there quickly. So the mayor gathers the council a second time. The second smartest councillor suggests they close the road between the hole and the hospital so the ambulance can ferry people faster. Everyone nods in deep wisdom. Alas, after a few days it's obviously not really doing much and it just creates more accidents with too many cars on the smaller roads. Finally, they gather for a third time to take drastic measures. The third smartest counselor says they need to tear down the hospital and rebuild it next to the hole. Finally, the mayor can't take it anymore. He slams his fist on the table and yells, You idiots! Do you know how much moving the hospital will cost? There's an obvious and easy solution to this problem. We fill in the hole and then we dig a new one next to the hospital. <laughs> so a young man asked an old rich man how he made his money. The old guy fingered his expensive wool vest and said, Well, son, it was 1,932. The depth of the Great Depression. I was down to my last nickel. I invested that nickel in an apple. I spent the entire day polishing the apple and, at the end of the day, I sold the apple for ten cents. The next morning, I invested those ten cents in two apples. I spent the entire day polishing them and sold them at 5 p.m. for twenty cents. I continued this system for a month, by the end of which I'd accumulated a fortune of $9.80. After that, the old rich man continued, I invested the $9.80 into a market stall so I could polish and display a lot more apples. I began making about $50 a month from then on. Then my wife's father died and left us $2 million. <laughs> <laughs> so a Russian man walks through the streets of Moscow. 
As he passes by the headquarters of a major company, he notices a poor man in decrepit clothes standing by the building, seemingly waiting for something, looking at the sky. Another poor crazy weirdo, he thinks. He keeps on walking. The next day, he passes near another company's HQ and sees the same poor man, seemingly waiting for something or someone, eyes up in the air, but this time with a luxury watch and classy shoes. Um, strange, I thought he was homeless at first, he thinks, noticing the upgrading clothes. But he keeps walking. The following day, while walking near another company's HQ on his way home, he sees the homeless guy again, barely recognizable with a brand new suit and designer coat, waiting outside, looking at the sky. So our hero finally goes and asks him, Excuse my rudeness, sir, but I saw you three days ago and you were just a homeless man. Now you are dressed in super expensive clothes I'll never be able to afford in my lifetime. How did you pull that off in three days? The homeless guy just tells him, oh it's simple. You just wait outside those company buildings and oligarchs will fall from the windows. <laughs>